Carnage! So today we are celebrating Venom. There will be Carnage with this Carnage cake. I love Woody Harrelson, man, so let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Woody Harrelson, and today we are celebrating Venom. There will be Carnage with a cake. Yes, this video is super late because I think that movie was released like four, five months ago maybe. <laughs> but I was moving, I didn't have time to edit this video, and I kinda even forgot that this video <laughs> existed. But looking over the footage, I'm still really proud of this cake, which is why I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's get to it. So I'm starting out with a cake that I baked in my egg-shaped pan. I dyed it red because of carnage, that's why. Cut it in half, added buttercream in between my layers, and then I started to carve the carnage shape. Now I tried to differentiate this from Venom and I tried to make his jawline a little bit thinner. Um, but for the most part, it looks exactly like all the other Venom cakes that I created. <laughs> the process changes later on in the video. Now I'm adding some pink fondant to the top, covering my entire cake. Now you can tell I'm a professional because of all the marbling. Look at that, so professional. Who's dying? What is this police siren? <laughs> I cut away the excess and then I started to create his teeth. So I'm adding black fondant to the inside of his mouth so I can layer some teeth on top of it. So for Carnage, I gave him really thin, like needly teeth. Is needly a word? Yeah, it's a word. I saw it in the dictionary, the Weber's dictionary. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I'm such an idiot sometimes. <laughs> I added white fondant to create his eyes and then I started to add some black fondant to give him all of that black symbiote detail. Originally I thought it was his lips, um, but I guess it's like his lips and his eyelids as well. <laughs> now I'm going to add some veiny detail with more fondant. Then I gave this a paint job with some red food coloring and a little bit of magic sauce. After that, my carnage cake was complete. What do you think? Looks pretty good, huh? Now, when I finished this cake, I actually added a little bit more detail to the side. I just added fondant to the side so I can enhance his jawline and his brow bone. It just looks so scary. It looks better than my Venom cake, actually. Now, I'm curious, what did you guys think of Venom, There Will Be Carnage? I thought it was an okay movie. Nothing really happened <laughs> in it, <laughs> or not that much. But I will say that I really like the jailbreak sequence. And I just love the way that the symbiotes realize on screen. Would I see another one? Yes, will I see Morbius? Probably not. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your cake ideas in the comments. I love you, I'll see you very soon, bye. I really like Carnage as a character, but I've made so many Venom cakes that they all start to look the same after a while. But there are some small changes that I made at the end of this cake that dramatically change how it looks compared to my other Venom cakes. I also think that this is the scariest one I've made so far. If I were to rank my Venom cakes, this Carnage cake would be at the top of the list. I think this cake was better than that whole movie. <laughs> That movie was okay, the jailbreak sequence was the best, but I think all of the characters were just like underused. But I would watch them in another movie. Now if I were to rank my Venom cakes, this Hulk Venom mashup cake would be last. <laughs> it's not a terrible looking cake, it actually looks pretty nice. But I think it needed more of a food coloring paint job at the end. It looks so flat. I think that this is just the least scary. What do you think? If I were to rank all of my Venom inspired cakes, this would be number two, second place. While I do love this cake and love the design, shout out to Oscar Romero, my carnage cake is terrifying. <laughs> and this is scary, but the carnage cake, oh my gosh, it just hits differently. 